Hey, how y'all doing? Out of Paul here, fixing to show you how to take a big old piece of meat and turn it into a uh, big old good piece of meat. Something you're gonna pay 20 bucks for at a barbecue joint. So here we got uh, pork shoulder, pork butt, same thing, just a big old piece of pork. You could use beef too. You can see it's cheap. Seven bucks for that big one, 630 something for that one, uh, 15 bucks. I'm gonna make like 20 sandwiches with 15 bucks. Uh, so I'm using my Kamado Joe smoker. You could use an oven, you could use a Weber grill, you crock pot, same thing. So I take these two pieces of meat, I got me some yellow mustard and uh, seasoning. Any barbecue seasoning you want. I like to use pre-made seasoning so I don't have to uh, get you know 10 different ingredients. So I just slather on some barbecue or some uh, mustard on the pieces of meat. This is not for uh, taste or flavor, it just gets the seasoning to stick to it and I guess it kind of makes a better bark uh, if you're smoking it. So rub that mustard on, put the seasoning on. You can see here, I like 50% uh, seasoning on the meat and then 50% on the countertop. I could put down foil or parchment paper or wax paper to catch all this, but honestly, I just don't like producing more trash than I already do. So scoop it off and uh, just put it back on the meat. I don't care. Here we go, going on the Kamado Joe. And uh, if you listen closely, you can hear nothing except my son. Uh, you should not be sizzling right now. Low and slow, this is like 225, 250 temperature. Same thing you could do in an oven, honestly. Uh, just low and slow. This is about one hour check. Uh, just check to make sure the meat's still there. I actually put it on a higher grate, just so it's not so close to those heat deflector plates. And this was like something like hour two. It's probably gonna sit on here for four or five hours, depending on how big the meat is, depending on how hot the uh, temperature is. I think around hour three here, I started to spray it. Apple cider vinegar and water. I'm doing this to keep the meat cool so it doesn't get too hot and cook too quick, but it also just helps uh, prevent you know any burning on like hot spots on the grill and stuff. So I sprayed it about three and a half hours, I think. Um, and then uh, went back inside, made this uh, little juice concoction. So we got a bunch of condiments. Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, uh, hot sauce, which was just buffalo wing sauce, and some barbecue sauce. That That is a half a cup total of all that stuff. And then I add the same amount of water, so a half a cup of water. So this is a full cup of juice. None of this needs to be exact. I honestly just put it in there, as you can see. Don't measure anything. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do here, this was like at four hours, four and a half hours. I was gonna check the meat. So the meat should be uh, 150 to 170. This is a good pork roast right now, it's edible. I could slice it and eat it, but it's not gonna shred like a shredded pulled pork sandwich like I want. Um, so you can see here, I'm just taking the temperature um, uh, before I wrap it. I would let this go a little further. You see here, I'm feeling the fat. So the fat should be sticky before you wrap it. That means the fat's rendered. But uh, I didn't really have time to let this go any further. I had to get to the gym for an appointment, so I wanted to wrap it before I went to the gym. So you just put it on some foil, make a little foil boat, and put the juice, half of the juice, on one. Uh, and then the other half of the juice on the other. This is just gonna be a liquid that it braises in uh, for another couple hours to make it real tender. Uh, I also put more seasoning on at this point. Here you see. Uh, don't be afraid to be liberal with the seasoning because all that seasoning is gonna get mixed up with the, the meat in the middle. It's a big piece of meat and I'm gonna shred this all together. So it's okay if there's tons of seasoning on the outside. It's actually uh, good, you want that. Um, don't skimp, it's not a piece of chicken breast. And then put the wrapped uh, pork back on for another couple hours. So this was probably two hours later, I got back from the gym. And uh, at this point, I don't even care about what the temperature is. I know it's cooked. Um, I just want to check to see how tender it is. So you can see that needle, that thermometer's got a little bit of resistance. You kind of have to push it down, or a knife if you were to use one. Um, so I know it's got a little longer to go. It's not quite tender enough. This is fast forwarding to uh, at home or inside after letting it rest. And you can see here, this is nice and tender. The, the thermometer is just falling through uh, effortless. It doesn't even stand up on its own weight. And at this point, if it's got a bone, you can pull it out. The bone should just slide out totally clean and effortless. This is a good sign that uh, this pork is gonna shred nicely. And then I just shred it with my fingers. All that juice, all that seasoning goes in to spread throughout the entire uh, uh, pile of shredded pork. You could also do this again with uh, like beef, like a pot roast. And that's it folks, I made a whole bunch of food with this for 15 bucks as you saw at the beginning. 
obviously I had to buy, uh, you know, buns and stuff like that, but I made pulled pork sandwiches, little pulled pork sliders with some barbecue sauce, onion, pickles, uh, between a, a little bun, and then a couple days later I made uh, pulled pork enchiladas. As you can see, some of those enchiladas are already gone, and uh, put some extra pulled pork on top. Fabulous. That's it, thanks for watching, and always remember, Trend on Time!